Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. Uh, what we're going to work through today is how to program drums using the mouse in GarageBand just like you would in Drumbit or any other kind of drum sequencer. So I've got GarageBand opened and I have pressed Command N to open a new project um, and I've selected Empty Project and now I'm here I get to choose a track type and I'm going to choose a software instrument. You may think to program drums you want to choose a drummer but actually no, we want a software instrument. Uh, this one will program the drums for you so you don't have to do any work and of course that's not what we're looking for. So we double click on that and it'll open up a new track. Right now it says electric piano and you can see I can play it using this on-screen keyboard or I can play it using my actual keyboard of my computer. Um, but of course we don't want keyboard, we don't want electric piano, we want drums. So I'm going to click down here where it says vintage electric piano and then I can click either in here where it says drum kit or go back and click electronic drum kit depending on what you're looking for. Uh, I'm going to go with an elect uh, electronic drum kit, the uh, crate digger. Uh, you can actually just single click on that. And now A or the note C on the keyboard should be the bass drum. Oh, it's not. It's the wrong octave. You can see up here. So I push Z to uh, get it down the octave. There we go. There's a kick drum. There's a snare drum. And there's my hi-hats here. So I could play a beat on my keyboard like this. Um, but we're actually going to get rid of that. And we're going to uh, program the drums old school. So if you can do a two-finger click, you can create an empty MIDI region here, which is exactly what we want. Or if that's not working for you, you can record uh, a MIDI region by just pressing the record button and then just playing some drums in there. There's your one bar of MIDI region. When you double click on that, you can just delete those drums, don't need them. And now here is our piano roll place for uh, programming drums. So I'm just going to adjust the size of that, get it to somewhere where I can see the whole thing. There we go. Now C1 is your kick drum. Uh, D1 is the snare drum, and these are the hi-hats here. If you want to explore other things, feel free, but the main ones we need are kick and snare. And then it's just like a normal drum roll like on drum bit. So there's beat 1, that's the down beat. 1.2, the first one there means it's bar 1. So this is bar 1, beat 1 bar 1 beat 2, bar 1 beat 3, and bar 1 beat 4. And you can see if you kept going, there's 2, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, bar 3, and so on. But we're just looking at one bar right now. And so if we want to play that over and over again, we can just loop that one bar. So as we talked about in class, I'm going to put... Oh, the way I draw is by holding down the command key. And it, you can see it turns it into a pencil. And then I can just click wherever I want. So one of the rules we talked about was putting the kick on the 1 on the kick on the downbeat, which is there. And we're putting snare on the backbeat, which is the two and the four. So this is the snare here. So I go here, two and four. And there's my framework that I'm going to build around. So I could go, I've got the click on. And these are, as you can see, longer. So if I shorten that one, the next one I draw is going to be shorter. So I'm going to go boom, cut, boom, cut. And so that means putting a kick here. And now that will sound like this. If I want to put more kicks in, I could just draw them in here. Play one here and get some hi-hats on the eighth note. Here we go. Slow it down a little. And as I said, feel free to explore other sounds. I don't know if they go this high. Some claps, can double up the snares with the clap there. And then if you want to loop it, you just go up here and drag it out, turn off the cycle, and then you can have a loop of drums.
and so on. So I hope that's clear. If you decide at some later stage that you want to change the drum sound, it's as simple as making sure this track is highlighted. So just to be clear, let's say you've got uh, a bunch of loops going on in there. Let's go with some electric piano. So if you've got a few other loops in there and you just have to make sure that you select this channel um, and open the library, which is there. And then it's as e to change the uh, drum kit, it's as easy as just clicking on this. So right now it's on Crate Digger, but I'm going to change it to Modern Club and we'll see what happens. <laughs> And it doesn't have to be electronic kits if I want to go try out the real drum kits, like using, you know, so software versions of real drums. I could click on Liverpool here and it'll still work. Here you can control the mix if you want to make the snare really loud. Um, and so on. So you can, you have quite a lot of control over the drums. Enjoy.